No, seriously, what is that? Ah! Uh, <laughs> Rolls Royce! Yeah, we're almost done with this level. Think of the cages as a, as a guidance, because I kind of see a lot of cages as I go along. Now here's the thing. These are popping kegs right here. Now these are rolling kegs right here. You call them the rolling stones. But they're kegs. If, yeah, if you do any sign of in the air action, it will count as a jump for it. Which is a good thing, because you don't want to get squished. Now you will get squished by these ones quite a lot. Is it me or are they just doing standard video game thing? Just planned structures! Even though the ground is shaped just accordingly so that they put these traps in front of you. Oh, stop intimidating me with the rain dance thing! Just leads you to separate sections. Oh, by the way, there's a switch there. Ooh, such an intimidating cave. Wah! I think we're done with the level, actually. Oh, you have to actually do that with the dude. Otherwise, he's just really annoying. Now, what you gotta do is go... Press the switch. The thing goes down. Run. Please don't try and get hit. By the swinging guillotines that like to turn right at the end of their go. And pretty much as soon as you get in here... Yeah, wait a little while, but yeah. And we are at the end of the level, unfortunately. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Probably a good thing, because then I, got, I don't have to do as much. There is a secret on the bottom, but... Oh, by the way... OH MY GOSH! Who would even try to get that? Ugh. Yeah, I survived. I don't even know where that secret comes from, but... Ugh. So anyway, keep going. By the way, that's a teen seed. Teen seeds don't count as your familiar spirits. Even though they did count in the original game, I think, I don't know. It'll get up. There you go. Ready, set, dance. Three, two, one. Oh, I beat you. Oh, he just collapsed in on me. I'm sorry, I couldn't get out that little pot. <laughs> yeah, not. you have to just get everything, which is really annoying. Now, I'm not going to get all the stuff. I don't want to get all the stuff, but I'll play through all the levels. Do it like that. Uh, the only thing is the bonus games, which you really don't want to sit through. You want to actually see all the levels. Now, we're going to go to the Sanctuary. Monsters Awakening, stuff like that. So, what do you say? Um, something Minasaurus Plains. I don't know. I don't know, but he... Yeah, I had a loss of objective because I I knew the game. I had to get to the sanctuary, but where the heck was the sanctuary? I I, I remember there was a cross. Oh wait, why are we taking the river when we can take the when we can take the best vehicle in the in the game? What? On oh, speaking of which, apparently. Yeah, but follow this path all the way, which is really hard, considering it slopes near the end. Yeah, it's also a bit annoying how it keeps respawning you right here. So I forgot where the docks are. So. Oh, what do you know? Yeah, 
I was taking completely wrong path. Dun, dun, dun. I think I saw a llama over there, but I don't know. Here we are on the shore. There are crabs and they will hurt. They will hurt so much. Seriously, if you get hit by a crab, you're like near death. Okay, so watch out for the crabs. Yeah, yeah, here's one of the crabs. Oh gosh! Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, look how low my health is. Ugh. Yeah, we're done jumping around looking for lums. Jumping around, jumping around. Oh, and by the way, he's here. Go, go, Power Rangers! Do that little dot in the end. So yeah, people, people will say, is this a classic game? Yes, it is. It's a remake of a classic game, though. And does it hold up? Kinda. I mean, it will work. So what? 18% of being playing for what an hour? Yeah, I, I, although, although a lot of the game will will actually take harder. So I may get to I don't know eight hours or whatever, eight ten hours, possibly. So anyway, we're at the sanctuary. Who cares? Who cares? Who throw a chest at the beginning? Just chest cage at the beginning just to you know say yeah we don't care oh by the way there's also some loads of pirates but nobody cares this one this one who dies in one hit he, he's like all of them jump and speaking of which if they land on you you're dead which is quite a random thing considering that you know the metal I know metal kind of crushes you metal beats everything do you climb up this wall? Oh, by the way, there's a pirate at the top who can burn your butt! Which is really bad level structure. I'm sorry, but this is also a remake thing. I'm sorry, there's no way to dodge it. The music does get pretty cool. In a later part. What are you doing? That is crazy. There is a lum in the middle of the air. Nope, that's later. Because the music will totally change. Okay, so this section is quite weird. I don't know what's with it, but it's a weird section. Anyway, you go down underwater. You think you're going to drown, but it's not like Dungeons and Dragons Online second reference to that, I know. Uh, the problem about that Dungeons and Dragons Online is that there's, a, there's several swimming parts in it, and the problem is you can't breathe for very long. So, by the way, if you collect all the red lumps, you get a health bonus. Sometimes, sometimes they start ticking, and by the way, no challenge to in fact, in fact, this level doesn't have any secrets, it's basically just that. I, mean, I thought this was a different tunnel, fortunately. Uh, yeah, the thing about Dungeons & Dragons Online is that they have this weird problem of throwing you too much water at a time. I don't know, maybe it's limiting off, but if, you, if, you, if you're underwater for too long, you start losing health, and then you drown, and then you die, you have to go back, go back, do all fight every single thing on your way back and it's really annoying. I don't know, stockpile on some potions or something. Get a ring of water breathers. That is a weird ledge. This this level has some nice music. Oh. I'm sorry but the cross work of this is sloppy. I have no idea about that. I'm sorry. I, th I think he meant to powder keg it and. Three, two, one! Yeah! Treacherous jump number 
Oh. Is this where the awesome music comes in? Oh, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I think the time's just gonna be all weird now. I save. Oh, crap! Just remembered. Sorry, I just wanted to have pizza and then Pokemon number 8, I think. The one with Lucario in the tree. Yeah, here's the awesome tune. Yeah. Watch out, crab! Okay, I'm in the game. Yeah. So what are these triangles for? They are for this. <laughs> you get your powder keg and you basically walk around with it. Now there are two uses for it because you're gonna open some doors. Yeah, that's the most dramatic throw. 